It's been a great 2018 for Darren Chris. It's no wonder he was named one of Entertainment Weekly's Entertainers of the Year. Yeah, with an Emmy under his belt and a recent Golden Globe nomination for American Crime Story. He's also lending his voice to highlight young people bringing change in their communities. And we are so excited to catch up with him now. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you for having me back. It's, it's all up, up in Christmas trimming. Yes, it's very festive, festive in yeah. here. Yes, I'm sorry that I'm wearing such grim black. It's, uh, we are in New York, but I thank you for bringing the colors. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. Well, thank you for bringing your colorful personality and your colorful talent enough, to the yes. stage today because <laughs> you, um, you know you're entertainer of the year one of the entertainers of the year you're also a golden only Globe. for a week though entertainment weekly is a weekly magazine yeah so just, they give no. it away the next week there'll be another one you know? yeah that, you, i would ride that train longer oh yeah believe yeah. you me I've, I've made that week last as long yes as possible. yes but also a golden globe nomination for american horror story and crime story yes a crime, a crime yes. story There's sorry a few. it's okay it's very convenient. yep and then um you got the emmy for it already this year mm -hmm. so are you excited to reunite with this cast uh, for the Golden Globes because it's such a fun you, you night, it's such a it. fun party. And now that no Carol Burnett's getting on her there, we're yeah. going to be stalking her and trying to get a picture with her in a, in a moment with her. Um, but yeah, we really created a, a family. I mean, it was a very grim show. Uh, and so, you know, you, you really kind of forge a special relationship with the people that you're in the trenches with. So, yes, I'm really excited to kind of be with them for one of the last things on this award season trail. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be a nice little exclamation point, no matter what happens. And it's, n it's nice that, that multiple nominations came for yes, this as well. So your friends now are going to get to yes. celebrate yeah. together. Yeah. Now, your role as Andrew is very dark. Was that, were you hesitant at all to take that road as an actor, or were you excited to do it? Uh, yeah, that's always an interesting question. I, I, I can't ever imagine, people, people tend, always ask that about darker roles, but I, I don't see why you wouldn't, that wanna wouldn't be the it, first yeah. thing you'd, you'd want to do. Not because it's dark, but because dark sort of begets complexity and, and begs a lot of questions to be asked. And, you know, I won't get into all the, the mirrored reasons for why that, that was an interesting role to play. But, uh, yeah, for obvious reasons, that's, uh, it's, that's what actors study for. It's what we get yeah. up in the morning for. So, well, yeah, and you get to be privilege. something that's completely out, outside of who you are as a sure, person. Right. Sure, so exactly. And also to try and shed some light on things, you know, question what is darkness? You know, you know what makes darkness? And uh, it, because this isn't a, a sort of cut and dry bad guy, there's, it's a much more complicated conversation. Yeah. That's what makes it interesting is kind of delving into those that tapestry of, of yeah, uh, yeah. questions. Well, um, you're also, it's the holiday season, which is a perfect time to give back, and you're also lending your voice to help kind of highlight some young people yeah. who are creating positive change through yes. the What Comes Next um, project. So what can you tell us about so, it? So uh, Clorox has been wonderful enough to invite me uh, to, to launch this new initiative that they're, they're starting called the, um, the What Comes Next project, which is uh, uh, a, a project that highlights young people doing, uh, causing positive change in their communities through the power of cleaning. And so... Obviously, that makes sense with Clorox, um, but you really start to realize that beyond just cleaning a space, that does set the stage for a lot of positive things and creates yeah. a, a new canvas for success for a lot of reasons that we kind of take for granted. Um, these kids are doing amazing things. Uh, uh, one, of the, one of the kids that we're highlighting um, started a project where she is uh, cleaning the clothes that are donated to her local communities because, you know, when you get things, you know, yeah. they're, they're not always new and... That gives us a certain confidence to the people who are using these donated clothes. Um, there's another kid who's, uh, who's cleaning um, temporary living spaces for Hurricane Relief after, uh, the, after Hurricane Florence in, wow. um, in the Carolinas. So there's all these little things that, you know, it starts with cleaning, but what happens after that? What kind of positive space and what kind of positive change can right. we create from that? And, uh, you know, I'm always a big proponent of youth leadership, so I'm happy to be a part of it and happy to shed a light on these really amazing kids. Yeah, sounds and like And this a is project. an ongoing thing, so people can still continue, right? Like, there's so many projects out yeah, there. Yeah, you can learn all about those kids and about their particular initiatives or maybe hopefully start something of your own. You can check out their website. It's uh, whatcomesnextproject.com. And uh, there's a lot of really cool inspiration, really, really nice inspiration for the holidays, you know? Yeah, it really is. And you yeah. always want to feel good around this time. Totally. So you're really yeah. helping us do that. Yeah. So. All right, well, for more of the What Comes Next project, go to whatcomesnext.com project.com and visit Darren's website and follow him on social media for info on all his projects. Darren, thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys. Happy holidays.